Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rissa, aka Rissa Explains It All, where I go over business manifesting and side hustles. And today I will be going over my tips for you guys for 2023 for saving money and really just improving your financial habits. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. Okay guys, so I usually try to make a video like this every year just to kind of you know tell you guys what has worked for me in previous years or what i'm going to try in the next year to improve my finances to improve my savings to improve my habits things like that so let's just go ahead and get started enough of this mumbo jumbo just one thing guys hit the subscribe button please thank you let's get me to 10k i'm almost to 10k and like that would be a dream of mine to hit 10k so if you guys could just hit the subscribe button okay guys i make weekly content and you know i just try to throw out tips and tricks all year long so help me i help you okay let's go ahead and get started i wrote down some notes so for my tip number one i've actually already been implementing this and i always do this every year anyways because i'm sure like you guys you guys want to get that 10 percent off that 20 percent off so you sign up for those text and email subscriptions so um, as things have been rolling in so far for the end of the year sales i've been going ahead and hitting that unsubscribe button on anything that comes through if it's fashion nova if it's um jewelry stores if it's just anything that i know i don't need in 2023 because i probably purchased it all in 2020 let's be honest then i'm going ahead and i'm subscribing and when you don't get those emails those promotional emails let me tell you how this helps because you're not tempted you don't wake up tempted like oh my god they're having 50 percent off newsflash they're gonna have 50 percent off again and again and again so don't feel tempted and just go ahead and hit that unsubscribe button guys i'm telling you this will save you hundreds of dollars in 2023 if you do have a weak moment and you are shopping online and i'm just a lot of these are like personal to me as well that's why i am giving you these certain tips there's tons of other tips as well and i'm sure there's other youtubers with better tips or worse tips i don't know so the second tip i can give you guys is to go ahead Put the stuff in your basket. If you find yourself at night, you got anxiety like me and you're like scrolling on, you know, Amazon, and you're like, let me add these things to my cart. I really just need to purchase something to fill, I don't know, a dose of serotonin. Then go ahead and do that, but don't hit the buy button. Do not hit the buy button. Fill your cart up and then just wait. Just give it a day, give it two days, give it a week, give it three weeks, give it a month go back to your cart and then tell me did you really want those items or were you just having a moment of weakness and you thought you wanted those items i do this constantly i will literally transfer all of my stuff from my saved um, cart on amazon which is not that much i've actually gotten it down significant amount but i'll transfer everything over and let it sit there for a few days and i'm like okay yep i don't need that delete 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 and then if I really am stuck on something, then I'll probably purchase it. But for the most part, that has helped me out a lot. Just add to your cart and then sit on it for a few days and see if you really, really want those items. And this also will help you save so much money in 2023 because really a lot of the items you probably put in your cart, you don't really need. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really going in on the shopping because I feel like as the years have gone by, the access to certain things has gotten easier and so this is my third tip for you guys delete those apps what apps am i talking about i'm talking about the klarna the quad pay the after pay the affirms anything where you can split up payments into four or put it on finance delete those apps we're getting rid of those in 2023 we're not going to be purchasing things on there and i'm saying that also to myself because I do it because when you're shopping online and you're like your cart's coming up to 200 300 dollars you're like I would much rather split that into four fifty dollar payments but that also encourages you to spend more go ahead and delete those apps and I promise you guys this will probably help you save a ton of money in 2023 because you won't be tempted to purchase bigger ticket items and also it's just good to not have them on there to tempt you so delete those apps okay so for tip number four i'm going to go ahead and encourage you every week at the end of the week when you close out your statements on your bank account or if you're budgeting what you should be doing go ahead take out 25 dollars, set it aside put it in an envelope transfer to a savings transfer to a savings that you don't have access to or you can't get access to easily and just set aside 25 dollars a week guys now this will be a nice little christmas gift for you at the end of the year because what you will find that if you take 25 times 52 weeks you should get 
$1,300. Let me just double check because sometimes my math be off and then people be coming at me in the comments like, you need to go to school. And the gag is, is I have a degree, baby. Okay, 25 times 52. Yes, yeah, so that is exactly $1,300. So it's such a small amount and you guys can find a side hustle to make $25 in one week or sell something every week and get $25. I don't know, but the options are limitless. And so I'm really encouraging you guys to do this. And then at the end of the year, boom, you have a surprise and you can put it towards savings. You can put it towards something you've been wanting, whatever it may be, save just $25 a week. Or if you want to up it even to $50 a week or something higher, more power to you. You'll have more money saved at the end of the year. Um, I believe on tip number five. So tip number five, which should be obvious, and um, I will say this is an age thing because I've noticed as I've gotten older, I do this and I used to think people were so responsible for doing this, but it is to make your lunch or bring your lunch. This really does save a lot of money. Now, I know inflation is crazy right now and groceries are probably just as much as going out to eat, but there are still a ton of items, rice, beans, spaghetti, pasta, and obviously you wanna stay healthy too. So you could trickle in salads, smoothies, there's a ton of items that you can find that aren't gonna be crazy expensive. I know the grocery store is really disrespectful right now. Believe me, I just went and I was just like, I'm gonna eat air for the whole year because it's so expensive. But just trust me on this. If you guys just try to do at least one meal a day, if you wanna eat out for dinner, if you wanna eat out for breakfast, cool. But just try to implement one meal a day where you're not spending money because really, you know spending money every day on fast food or eating out is one not that healthy and two not good on your pockets you want to be saving and getting your finances together in 2023 so start with one meal a day and see how much that saves you okay tip number six is to go through your old stuff go through your old clothes go through your old electronics go through furniture in your house that you don't use or you don't want and go ahead and start selling things you can sell on facebook marketplace which is where i like to sell i believe that plato's closet is still around and kicking i'm not quite sure you can take some old clothes there um you can sell to a friend you can just there's so many options with that so just kind of rummage through some stuff in your house and see what you could sell to make some extra cash. Okay, tip number seven, guys, and I say this every year and my content is heavily around this topic, but find a side hustle, guys. I'm going to post a screenshot right here and kind of breaks down side hustles and how much one side hustle a week could make you throughout the year. So for instance, for me, I try to make 250 to 400 a week in side hustle money, and I usually do. So let's just go with the highest number. And mind you, you do have to set aside for taxes when you do side hustles and stuff, but just keep that in mind when or if you do work a side hustle. So let's just say, I'm just gonna say 400. 400 times 52 weeks is 20,800. So if I consistently do my side hustle every week for the new year until the end of the year, I will make an extra $20,000 roughly minus taxes and stuff so probably a little bit less and you gotta include gas and all that but this is just basically to say that if you have a lower paying job or you are in between jobs pick up a side hustle and then find your reason why that's very important is why am i doing this what is inspiring me what is motivating me to want to get this side hustle to you know is it to pay off debt is it to pay for school is it to pay for a new car or is it to save for a down payment on a house twenty thousand dollars is a down payment on a house so you have to find a reason why you want to get a side hustle so that you can get inspired and motivated but that is like one of my biggest tips is to get a side hustle guys it is 2023 you should not be ashamed and also our generation does not have the luxury well some of us do to work one job you usually need a two household income or you need to be working a side hustle or a second job depending on how you spend and how your finances are but highly recommend a part-time job or a side hustle okay guys and for my last and final tip i think this is tip number eight or tip number nine 
one of the two. I'm going to encourage you guys to budget. You really need to sit down and write out your budget, write out your expenses, your income, your outgoing, write it all down and really see where your money is going. And when you have a budget, you know where your dollars are going and what is coming in. It makes it that much more easy to know how to manage your money. So sit down, make a budget. I have some old budgeting videos on my channel. If you guys are interested, you could watch those. And I also sell budgeting templates, which I'll link down below, or you can look on Etsy. It's called The Humble Budget. And I sell sheets, they're like two, three bucks. They're a digital download and you print them out and then you can write down your income, your expenses, um, and your debt, stuff like that. So highly, highly recommend going ahead and starting that budget in the new year because it is so worth it. I budget everything. I budget for my month and then I'll budget per week as well just so I know exactly down to the cent where my money is going. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up my video. I just wanted to throw out some tips for you guys to start implementing in 2023. I hope these tips help. I hope everyone has a prosperous, beautiful, lovely new year and I hope everyone stays safe and yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.